Hello and welcome to Watch Releases Recap for the week of February 23rd until March the 1st. Let's begin with Nomos and their new club campus non-stop red and endless blue dial variations. Nomos has a very specific design language, it's of course Bauhaus inspired, and even when they do a California dial, because that's what this is, it has a combination of Arabic and Roman numerals, you can still tell that it's a Nomos. I don't know how they do it, but they're able to pull it off. So these two new dials come in two different sizes, 36 and 38 millimeters, and you can have them with or without a display case back. But for the love of God, if you are buying one of these watches, go for the display case back because these movements are so beautiful to look at. Both versions are powered by exactly the same movement, caliber alpha, which is kind of a strange name. It's an in-house hand-wound movement with 17 joules, 21,600 vibrations per hour beat rate, and 43 hours of power reserve. It is also a very good looking movement. It has decorations, it has blue screws. Nomos knows how to put on a bit of a theater with their movements. The front of the watch is also quite handsome. As I mentioned, it features this California dial. It also features a sub seconds hand by the six o'clock position. And overall, the design of this watch is kind of simplistic. Other than, of course, the vibrant colors. You have the red and you have the blue. Out of the two, I think I prefer the red, although I do have to see them in person to really judge because on pictures, it's one thing, but seeing the watches in person is a completely different story. Speaking of seeing the watches in person, you really have to try these watches on to judge whether the 36 or the 38 millimeters is right for you because they tend to wear a bit larger. My Nomos is 37 mil and I think it wears larger closer to 39 millimeters. So probably this 38 and a half will wear closer to 40 and the 36 will wear closer to 38. They're very slim. The 36 mil version is only 2.8 millimeters in height and the 38 and a half millimeter version is only eight and a half millimeters in height. They still come with 100 meters of water resistance and a high polish stainless steel case. The prices of these watches are super reasonable. I think that's the best part about these watches, how well they're priced. The 36 millimeter version with a sapphire display case back is 1500 euros. It's about the same in US dollars and the 38 millimeter version is only $100 more. You can of course go for the ones without the display case back, they're a little bit cheaper, about 200 euros cheaper for each version, but again, don't do that, it would be a mistake. Go for a display case back if you do in fact pick up one of these watches. The new Certina DS Action GMT. I've been saying it for years, I think Certina is one underrated brand. And this new GMT is one of the best value for money new GMTs on the market today. This new model offers both fantastic specs and good looks. So first of all, the looks, I think it's sort of traditional GMT style watch with a two-tone bezel, you have the green and the black, but there are a few other color combinations that you could choose from, such as the one with the gold accents and the one with the Pepsi bezel, red and blue. My favorite is the green and the black. I think that looks really sharp. As far as the specifications of the watch, I think that's where Certina really stands out. The case diameter is very reasonable, 41 millimeters by 11 millimeters in height. The watch features 200 meters of water resistance, stainless steel case and a stainless steel bracelet. The bezel insert is made out of sapphire, so that's kind of cool. It's powered by the ETA Powermatic 80.661 movement, which is a GMT version of a Powermatic 80 movement that of course has 80 hours of power reserve, uh, it beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and it has 25 joules. One of the best things about this GMT movement is the fact that it's a true GMT. It's a flyer GMT, so you can independently set that home uh, hours hand by jumping with one hour increments, just like a Rolex GMT Master 2. It's priced around $1,100 mark, which is super reasonable for a watch like this. And the thing about Certina watches is that they always go on sale. In a few months, if you check websites like Jama Shop, I'm sure you can score this watch with 30, maybe even 40% discount. Amazing. The new Union Glass Huta Noramis date models. Union Glashütte is a German brand. They're known for their racing inspired watches 
as well as their chronographs, but they do in fact have some very nice looking dress watches, like the Noramis Date. The two new models that we're going to talk about in this video, the new releases for this week, are actually a variation of an existing line. They just added different dial variations and slightly different dial design. These two new watches are available with white and black dials. As the name would suggest, there is a date at the three o'clock position, applied indexes, a step dial, and a very clean conservative design. The watch features a 40 millimeter case diameter. It's only 10.4 millimeters in case height. It's made out of stainless steel and it has 100 meters of water resistance. These watches are powered by the caliber UNG-07.S1, dash which is essentially a modified ETA-2892, but it's quite heavily modified. So first of all, they put in a silicone hairspring for higher anti-magnetic resistance. Secondly, they put some decorations in, and lastly, they increase the power reserve to 60 hours. Both models have the same price, and I think it's a very reasonable price, 2,400 euros, which is about the same in US dollars. The new Louise Arard Excellence Petite Seconds Galoche. Louise Arard is one of these brands that was quite popular in the 20th century, then it kind of went out of business in the 90s slash early 2000s, then in about 2003, it was bought by another independent watch company and brought back to life. Over the last 20 years, their main focus was on affordable luxury. These two new models come in two different case sizes. There's a 39 millimeter version and the 42 millimeter version. If you were to ask me, I'd go for the 39 millimeter version. They both feature similar case height, around 12 and a half millimeters. The cases are made out of stainless steel. They feature all polished finish and 50 meters of water resistance. The star of this show is undoubtedly the dial design. So you have that sub seconds hand, which is classic dress watch territory. In fact, this is the third watch on the list with this similar design. I think this one is executed really well. It also features that Giloche dial. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that word correctly. Excuse me if I'm not. Now, the thing about these watches, they're actually stamped dials, which brings down the price significantly. Usually in traditional watchmaking, these dials had to be hand finished. And of course that would cost uh, tens of thousands of dollars. In this case, the price is brought down significantly because they're stamped dials. So they're around 2,300 Swiss francs, which is similar price in US dollars. The watches feature a display case back, although the movement is not much to look at. It's powered by the Celita, SW200, uh, which has 31 joules, beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, and has about 38 hours of power reserve. Overall, I think the watches look very handsome. I think the price is somewhat reasonable. And the unique part about a watch like this, if you buy one and you wear it around, chances are you will never run into another person with the same watch. Unless you, of course, go to some sort of a watch show or a uh, watch enthusiast meeting, but out in the wild, probably will never happen, which is kind of cool. Hamilton Dune Part 2 limited edition watches. Hamilton has a long history in collaborating with, I think, Warner Brothers uh, movie studios. So they produced quite a few different watches, uh, especially for Christopher Nolan's movies. There was the Murph made for Interstellar and there were a couple of Hamilton watches made for Tenet. Now, Dune is actually not uh, directed by Christopher Nolan, but nevertheless, there are these limited edition watches for the movie Dune, which I'm a big fan of. I'm actually going to go see it later today. There is the standard analog dial version, if you could call it standard. It's anything but. It has a funky case design, as you would imagine for the movie Dune. The way this watch was described, it's like a cyberpunk slash scrapyard put together. And I can definitely see that. It has this light blue highlight in the dial, which looks very sci-fi. I quite like the design of this watch. Of course, it's not something that you would wear every day, but it's kind of cool. The other one is the digital version with a similar design. Both versions are quite large. They're 52 millimeters in case diameter. But in fact, I think you can still wear this watch because the lock to lock distance is around 47 millimeters. It just looks awkward on the wrist because it's from the sci-fi franchise. Both versions are limited editions, as I mentioned. The analog dial one is limited to 3,000 pieces and it's priced at $1,750. And no, it's not an automatic watch, it's quartz-powered movement. The other version, 
the LED display one is limited to 2000 pieces and is priced at $2,500. Am I gonna rush out and buy one of these watches? No, it's not for me, but I'm really glad that companies like Hamilton still do these movie tie-ins and release kind of funky, unique watches like this. And that's it. Those were the watch releases for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what releases stood out to you personally. I always enjoy reading your comments. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.